Greetings everyone. My name is Anya Jain from Grade 4D and my today's Nirman project topic is Step Farming. Step Farming is also called as Terrace Farming. Step Farming is common in hills to check soil erosion through water current on the slopes. It provides a barrier to soil erosion by water. The mountains are made into steps to slow down the speed of rainwater preventing damage to crops. The materials I have used to prepare this project is clay, cardboard, chart paper and acrylic color. The method of step farming uses steps to build into sides of mountains and hills. On each level various crops are or various crops are planted. When it rains, instead of washing all of the nutrients in the soil, the nutrients are carried down in the next level. Thank you. My topic is medicinal home remedy. Ayurveda is a traditional system involved in India which tries to to bring harmony between man and nature. It uses the ingredients which are easily available in and around the kitchen. Today I am going to explain some various uses of the ingredient turmeric which is easily available in all households. Turmeric milk or kachi haldi wala dood has been consumed since time in memorial in India. In India though it's becoming popular in west as turmeric latte and it is also called golden milk. The active ingredient of turmeric is curcumin which contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory components. It has lots of health benefits. It, it helps cure cold, cough and fever. It slows the process of aging. It fights various types of cancer. Also disease like Alzheimer. It also helps induce sound sleep. Reduce joint pain. Turmeric is an amazing wound healer. When we put turmeric powder when we put turmeric powder on the wound, it quickly heals the wound. We can also make turmeric mask using turmeric turmeric with lemon, yogurt, honey and egg white. My Nirman project is on medicines and I am going to tell you about the homemade remedies that is Kashai, the immunity booster drink. Now in the crisis of coronavirus, most of us looking for some homemade remedies to keep ourselves fit and healthy. Kashai is a healthy and refreshing traditional Ayurvedic drink made with a combination of dry and flavored spices. It is useful for those who are suffering from common cold, sore throat, fever, headache and other elements. Now we will see the ingredients of kasha, coriander seeds. These are known to ease digestion and a rich source of vitamin C and iron. Black pepper, it cures sinus, cold and cough and boosts up the immunity. Cummins, it contains vitamin C and improves the formation of red blood cells. Cloves, it kills the bacteria and improves the liver health. Fenric seeds, it reduces the risk of cancer, diabetes and high cholesterol. Cinnamon, it reduces heart diseases. Apart from all these, we can also use milk to lower the spice temperature or we can skip milk and add the kashai powder to the boiling water. So, kashai is an ancient form of medicine that has been used for a long time. It is mainly used by South Indian and Bengali families. Thank you. Volcanic eruption. Now, I will tell you how this volcanic eruption happens. Deep within the earth, there is some rocks which slowly melt and become into the substance called as magma. Since it is lighter than since it is lighter than the solid rock around it, magma rises and collects into the magma chambers. Eventually, some of the magma pushes through the small vents and fissures to the earth's surface. Now, I will tell you why. What happens when the volcanic eruption happens? 
hands. The space from the magma to leave a very small and as it travels, pressure builds, meaning it escapes while when released. The escaping liquid drop becomes lava. Now, which solid solidifies as it travels, layers of lava build up over time and are creating the lava. So that, for that, I have an experiment for you all. So for this experiment, you need dish soap, salt, food coloring, vinegar, baking soda and baking powder. So first I will put the baking soda. Now you need to put the baking soda powder 2 spoons. Now we will put the salt. to make the lava color. So I have put a small food coloring bottle, the full bottle I have put. Now the last and the final thing which is the vinegar. And be careful by putting the vinegar. Now see. Just a second. See, the lava is rising up and it's just flowing down and down. The full bottle of the of vinegar has been Put in so so that's all for today. Thank you. Let us defeat the infection with Ayurvedic wonder. Uh, the ingredients are turmeric powder, tu turmeric powder, tulsi powder, giloy powder, soot powder, uh, cinnamon, cardamom. Cinnamon, cardamom, uh, black pepper and clove are, uh, are crushed and this is a wine and lemon and a ginger. Now we need two glasses of water and we will make kara in this utensil. Now we need to add these all ingredients in this water. We need to boil our kara for 15 to 20 minutes. Then our immunity drink is ready. And kara is bitter in taste. So you can add a jaggery powder or a honey. Thank you so much. And and uh, and in this corona you can drink the, our immunity drink. from 4th D. This is a working model of solar and lunar eclipse. An eclipse is an astronomical phenomena when the sun, earth and moon come together in a straight line. There are two types of eclipses that happen on earth. Solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the earth and the sun. 
let's see in the model. As you can see, the moon is between the sun and the earth. It is blocking the light of the sun from reaching it onto the earth. Instead, it, it is casting a shadow onto the earth. This part of the earth is receiving total solar eclipse. Now, you can see the sun, moon and earth are not lined up properly. So, this part of the earth receives, par receives partial solar eclipse. Lunar eclipse occurs when the earth is between the sun and the moon. It doesn't allow the sun's light to fall on the moon and make it shine. Instead, it casts its shadow on the moon and doesn't make it shine. This is called lunar. Hello friends. My name is Nicole de Gama and I study in grade 4. Today I am going to explain to you my project which is the course of a river. A river is a natural flowing water course which flows into an ocean, sea or a lake. The river starts from the source and ends at the mouth. The course of a river is divided into three parts which are the upper or the mountain course, the middle or the plain course and the lower course. The upper course mainly lies in the hilly areas. Over here, the river makes features such as waterfalls and V-shaped valleys. When the river flows onto the plains, the middle course starts. Over here, the tributaries come and join the main river. Tributaries are smaller rivers join the main river. During heavy rainfall, the rivers get flooded and overflow. Then we come to the last and the final course, which is the lower course. The lower course, the river branches into distributions, which flows into the sea. The sediment that the river deposited forms a triangular pattern. This is called the delta. from my end to share with you all recipes of two Ayurvedic immunity booster drinks to avoid cold, cough and fluid related problems. These Ayurvedic kadas can be a boon in fighting the coronavirus and increasing the immunity. These drinks are made with the easy available ingredients in our kitchen. The first one is ginger turmeric tea, which comprises of the Ayurvedic qualities and benefits of both ginger and turmeric. The following ingredients are required for the same. Add ginger, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, black pepper and crush it with the help of mortar and paste it. Now, I have added the ingredients into the motor and the paste. Now, I am going to crush it. Once the ginger spice mix is ready, add this to the water in the pan and keep it for boiling. Now, we have to add turmeric and jaggery to the mixture. Now I am adding the jaggery to the mixture. Now I am adding the turmeric to the mixture. Mix it well and let it boil for 5 minutes. The flavor would be absorbed during the boiling process by the water. Now I am going to stain this mixture. Now we have to add 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. And then mix it. Now your ginger turmeric tea is ready to be enjoyed. Mmm, yum! I will show you the process of how medicines are made. So, let's begin. This is the mixture of all the ingredients which is used to make vitamin D tablet. So this is the mold in which we will uh, keep the mixture of keep the in 
mixture of the all the ingredients for the tablet and we have to put this into the mold so now i have filled this and now we will put it in our freezing in our freezing section so now this is going from its inspection from its freezing zone to its inspection zone now this tray will go back to its to its real position for the next batch the tablets are freezed and now they are going in the packaging area now these medicines have have Trans medicines have been transported from the pharmacy to the medical shop. These have all the informations of the manufacturing date and the expiry date over here. And now these will go in the medical shop over here. It will reach to the customers as they will put. a number a code which will be given by the doctor to them and the medicine will come thank you active pharmaceutical ingredient called as apis or drug substance is produced by synthesizing various chemical compounds each apis ha has specific therapeutic value to treat specific ailment the drug substance api is blended with various types of binding and dissolving agents called as excipients suitable to the apis in a large blender the blended mass is pressed into form of tablet or capsule and then after punched punched into blister at blister packaging machine these blisters are then packed in the carton through the through the conveyor belt and packed in transport worthy packs these packs of blisters containing tablets or capsules are sold at the pharmacy shop against the doctor's prescription thank you hello everyone my name is anu singh and i am from 4d my topic for nirman exhibition is mix farming but first let us see what is the meaning of farming farming involves growing of crops like wheat pulses rice etc now let us see what is the meaning of mixed farming mixed farming involves growing of crops and rising of the livestock now let us see advantages of mixed farming first farmers can keep their field under continuous production second it improves the productivity of farm land last advantages of mixed farming first applying fertilizer to individual crops is difficult second applying pesticide to individual crop crops is difficult last but not the least harvesting and threshing crops threshing crops separately are not possible good afternoon teachers and my dear friends my name is ragi from 4d today's my topic is step farming model from agriculture now i'll tell you how i made this first i take this big box and then medium and then small then i put sand and then i applied these small crops with the help of green chart paper then this is my house i have made with the cardboard and painted it with red color then i have cut the shape of the road and then i st stick the white strips on it and then i have painted the whole road with black color now i will tell you few lines on it step farming model is an ancient way of farming on hills with steep slopes mountains and other elevated region of the world it is common 
It is common in hills to check soil erosion through water current on the slopes. It provides physical barriers to soil erosion by water. Mountains is made mountains is made into mountains is made into steps that slows down the speed of rainwater preventing damage to crops. Benefits of this. The major benefits are the conservation of soil and water. Step farming permits more intensive cropping than other than other method of farming. Thank you. Morning respected teachers, th parents and my dear friends. Today I will tell, share you some information on Kara. Kara, Kara is an Ayurvedic home remedy that can protect you and make you stronger. Nowadays everyone knows about it because of Corona pandemic. Most of people have Kara in their daily routine. Herbs and spices that are boiled usually in water to extract, extract their benefits. It is a natural immunity booster and is said to be a best home remedy against fever, sore throat and cold, cold and seasonal flu. It is loaded with, with antioxidants. My Nirman project is Flying Twister. This project is made out of best out of waste. It is used old car books, an old twister and a old gift wrapper. There is a navigation hitch in this flying twister. This can be supervised by the parents. They can use the remote control to fly the twister. This flying twister will help our future generation kids to travel from one place to another. It is a new technology for our toddlers. Nisha Gandhi from 4D. I have made prepared this 3D model of India map showing the monuments of India. I have graved thermocoil sheet and images of monuments and depicted near its respective state and city. Each monument has its own glorious history and beauty. I will take you from North India towards the South India. Let's begin. This is Golden Temple in Amritsar city of Punjab. Golden Temple is a religious temple of six. Yes, this is the Qutub Minar and this is the Lotus Temple. Qutub Minar is World Heritage Site in Delhi. Lotus Temple is attractive Bihar Temple and famous for its flower-like shape. Wow, this is the wonder of the world. No need of introduction of this. Great Taj Mahal, right? This beautiful and historical monument located in Agra of Uttar Pradesh is a symbol of love. Now, let us have a visit to Sanchi Stupa located in Sanchi town of Madhya Pradesh. It is a Buddhist complex. This is a Hawa Mahal located in Jaipur city of Rajasthan. It has 953 small windows. This is world's tallest statue.
Good afternoon, ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. This is an interesting place where we all live. It is one of the eight planets which revolve around the sun in our solar system. The earth spins on its axis. This movement is called as rotation. The earth spins from the west to the east and it takes approximately 24 hours to complete its one rotation. Do you know why we don't feel the earth spinning? I'm pretty sure you all might be knowing, but I'll still tell you for some more explanation. If we don't feel the earth moving because everything including us is spinning at the same speed of the earth. So, let's see what causes day and night. The earth is always moving on its axis. This allows the sunlight to shine on different parts of the earth. Now, uh, the rotation of the earth causes day and night. The part of the earth facing the sun experiences day and the one facing away experiences night. Let me explain you in more detail form with the help of the model I have created. As you can see that the lights are off now, my torch is going to act as the sunlight. So the sunlight path is acting as the daytime and the dark path is acting as the nighttime. So the half part of the earth which is in daytime is assuming as the daytime and the half part which is in the nighttime is assuming as nighttime. So let's assume that this part of the earth is India. It is going to take 12 hours to rotate on one side and it's going to take 12 hours to come back in the day side. So when it is going to complete 12 and 12 hours, it is going to become 24 hours. Hope you like my Nirman project. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Avisha Chudeva and I am from 40. Today I am going to take you through a cream based remedy of spider wings. It mostly affects our thighs and legs. So the ingredients we need to make the cream is few pinches of turmeric, mint oil, 2 teaspoons of coconut oil, 2 teaspoons of aloe vera, 2 teaspoon of caffeine, 2 teaspoon of uh, vapor rub. Let me tell you the benefits of all these ingredients. So, caffeine, the caffeine decreases the plaque, caffeine decreases the plaque in the spider wings. Vicks vapor rub has menthol and mint in it which is, which is, which is, Soothing for swelling veins, mint oil nourish the skin, coconut, coconut oil is moisturizes moisturizes the skin. Aloe, aloe vera, aloe vera, aloe vera nourish the skin. Now let's mix all these in 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 this bowl. Now we are, and now we are going to put the mint oil. You have to mix this till, till it. You have to mix this till it till it becomes smooth. It, we have to whisk, whisk and whisk. This should, this should have a smooth consistency. Now it will look like this. 
apply it twice a day apply it twice a day for good results teachers students and all my dear friends please my talk to Agriculture and farming. I will explain you about that. Here we go. We almost fifty percent of population in India is employed to agriculture. We grow crops, vegetables, cash crops, and fruits. We grow. crops such as pulses rice and wheat we also grow fruits such as capsicum and carrot and many more we also grow cash crops such as tea coffee and sugar cane there are fruits we grow like oranges apples strawberries and much more or the main reason behind a uh, agriculture country is the nature and the fertile soil many rivers flowing from northern southern and eastern parts of india the terrace farming is commonly found in asia and is also used throughout the world for cultivation purpose purposes Terrace farming can be used when the terrain is particularly hilly or steep. Terrace farming is technique in farming where a where a slope surface is cut into flat layers resembling a series of steps. It was invented by the Inca people who lived who lived in the South America mountains. The terrace farming method has been cultivation of crop usually in anywhere there is a hill or a mountain particularly in asia by rice growing countries like vietnam the philippines and the indonesia where terrace farming is the chosen method as a matter the terraces of rice food in philippines cordillera have been acknowledged as an inca world heritage site terrace farming is also generally used in islands such as canary islands because they have hilly terrains also used to grow potatoes and maize three of the most important crops that are that are grown using terrace farming are rice wheat and Very thank you. Good morning, our uh, teachers, principals, and all my dear friends. Today, I, Master Kamil Khan, and Master Habil Khan, will tell about farming. I will tell about organic farming, and Master Habil Khan will tell about conventional farming. Conventional farming released on chemicals to control pests and grow plants. Organic uh, organic farming depends on natural composting to produce healthy and uh, nutritious crops, fruits, and vegetables. Advantage: increase food production. Advantage of organic farming: no strains of chemicals. Products do not uh, make uh, organic products uh, do not make uh, people get sick. Disadvantage: loss of biodiversity. Disadvantage of organic farming: uh, organic foods are too expensive. Don't do it any more. Start your own small uh, uh, organic vegetable garden because health, health is wealth.
nominal pain rapid breathing, high fever, resistant vomiting, rest, restless water keep our body hydrated. Basically, it helps to improve the overall immunity. Papaya leaves leaf increase our blood platelets. Painkiller tablet. Painkiller tablet 
help us to get relief from the pain. Digital thermometer. A digital thermometer help us to know what is our temperature. Body temperature. How to make sanitizer at home? First, we need 85 ml of boiled water and boiled water, and then we have to cool it for room temperature. Then we have to add one cup of isopropyl alcohol. Then we have to add one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. Then we have to add one teaspoon of glycerin. Then, then we have to pour in the container. And here we go. Our homemade sanitizer is ready. Then we have to keep it for 72 hours and then it is ready to use. Thank you. Myself, Jalak Tamani, Class 14. My topic for Nirman exhibition is farming. There are seven branches of farming. I will each I will explain each branch in brief. First, agronomy. Agronomy deals with the production of various crops which includes fruit crops, folder, folder crops, fiber crops, sugar, oil seeds, etc. The aim is to have better food production and how to control the diseases. Horticulture. Deals with the production of fruits, vegetables, flowers, plants, spices and beverages. Forestry. Deals with the production of large scale cultivation of perennial trees for supplying wood, timber, rubber etc. And also raw materials for industries. Animal husbandry. Deal with the agriculture practice of breeding and raising livestock in order to provide food for humans and to provide power, drought and manure for crops. Agriculture Engineering Deals with the farm ma machinery for field preparation, intercultivation, harvesting and post-harvest processing include oil and water, conservation engineering and bioenergy. Home science deals with application of utilization of agricultural products in a better manner is in order to provide nutrient security including value addition and food preparation. On integration, all the seven branches, first three is grouped as for crop production, group and next to animal management and last two ailed agriculture branches. Good afternoon everybody. My name is Prana from 4D and now I am going to show you my Nirman exhibition on medicines. Medicine is a science and practice of establishing the diagnosis, programmics, treatments and treatment and prevention of disease. Medicine examples is all university of health care practices evolution to maintain and resource health or by the prevention and treatment of illness. Now I'm going to show medicines. So serious. This is a turmeric juice. This is turmeric. This is a joint. This is a ginger. This is black pepper. And this is coals. Thank you for this pleasure to see my video. And I am going to tell you how to make a kara. So to make a kara, we need a turmeric, carom seed, clove, smashed ginger, giloy and 
basil seeds and jaggery. So first take a vessel and a full glass of water. Pour the water at the vessel and put the vessel at the gas. Then put on the gas and put the half teaspoon of turmeric. Half teaspoon of carom seed and mix it. After mixing, take two cloves. After taking cloves, wait 30 seconds and put smack ginger and gillow. We have put smash ginger and gillow and I am putting it on the vessel. Now let it boil until when the water has become half. Friends, the water has become half. So put a jaggery and mix it all. If you want, you can put half turmeric or more. Now put off the gas. Now put a steamer, a glass and a holder. Now I will tell the benefits of Kara. The benefits of Kada are in 2020 we are all suffering from coronavirus. So if we will drink Kada, so our immunity power will be boost. And it is a very healthy drink. We should drink every day to protect ourselves and our family from coronavirus. Global warming is a continuously increasing issue all over the world. It is one of the biggest problem the world is currently facing. To reduce global warming, I have an idea for my project. In this project, the solar panel is used to produce electricity. Solar energy is one of the most vital renewable source of energy. Water flow passes around through the system of pipes mainly by pumping. The water from the well will be pumped out with the help of the water pumps. Let me show you how it works. As you can see over here, the water is pumped out of the well with the help of the pipelines and then sprinkle on the field. It spreads up into tiny water drops that fall to the ground. Spray heads at the terminals distribute the water over the entire soil surface. Some benefits of the solar irrigation system are Solar panels are eco-friendly, it causes no air pollution, no noises, it saves manpower, no need of fuels and electricity. Major advantage is the cost efficiency in the long run. Through solar panel, pumps can eliminate the cost of the energy and provide more feasible option that uses the energy from the sun for pumping water. Someone has rightly said, the earth does not belong to us, we belong to the earth. So, being a human on this earth, it is our responsibility to protect our environment. Thank you. After your respective men and features, today my, I have a show. And today my topic is medicines. Uh, here I have ginger, lemon,
lemon, honey, sugar, and parsley. Cut the skin of the ginger. Wash it, then squeeze it. Then remove the juice. Five tea, five spoon. Then. Water is coming slowly, slowly down. As you can see in the project, here the smoke is coming out from the factories and the cars. And the work we so we should reduce it by planting the trees. And the word air pollution means planting un unwanted foreign material into something. Now I will show a video. Air pollution. In the video, air pollution is so harmful for our health and nature. Now I will tell you some reasons of increasing air pollution. The some re increase reasons of increasing air pollution are automobile, auto means industrialization, growing city, etc. Also there is getting polluted because of air pollution. So now the, I will tell you some ways of decreasing air pollution. First, we should use carpool and we should share car with 4 to 5 people and do not use single alone with car. And the second, use, use, recycle. Third, Switch off the light bulbs when it is not in use. Fourth, plant more trees to reduce air pollution, etc. So these are some ways to reduce air pollution. 
Good morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. I, Shreyas Kishore, am going to present my project for Nirvana exhibition, and my topic is effect of human activities on our environment. In order to meet the basic need of over overpopulation, the society has taken series of steps like rapid industrialization, urbanization. deforestation etc i try to show all these environmental problems in my project let's start with deforestation we human beings are dependent on forest for different resources we cut down trees without thinking about its consequences deforestation leads to loss of habitat for many insects and animals which will which results in their extinction deforestation can cause catastrophic flood as well and it can cause significant effect on climate change when we decide to invest in sustainable dry and wet waste management we contribute to reduction of harmful greenhouse gases emissions air pollution emission of hazardous gases liberated from industry vehicles burning of fuel wood lead to respiratory disorders and can result in acid drain also contaminated water has become a serious threat if effluent from industries throwing plastics garbages in water bodies Washing clothes and utensils make water unfit for us and aquatic animal as well. It's duty of every citizen to protect our environment. Protecting our sky begins with us. Here are simple ways which you can protect your earth. First, reduce, reuse, recycle. Second, educate yourself and others. Third. Conserve water. Fourth, volunteer for each and every community. Fifth, don't use plastic bags. Sixth, shop wisely. Seventh, don't send chemicals into our waterways. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to online Nirman exhibition of Nel Dhamiyan School. Today I am going to share with you very important and useful information related to uses of spices in our routine diet and stay healthy and fit. Here I have spices and pictures of its plants. I am going to first start with elaichi. Elaichi is known for centuries for its culinary and medicinal properties. These aromatic spices native to the evergreen rainforest of southern India, Kerala state and grown in only a few tropical countries. Medicinal uses of elaichi are the therapeutic properties of cardamom oil have found application in many traditional medicines and as antiseptic and local anesthetic and antioxidant besides plague health promoting the disease preventing role culinary uses of elaichi are these delicate spices work as a flavor agent in in foods soups and refreshing drinks the pods have been used in the preparation of sweet dishes in many asian countries elaichi kulfi is the famous summer dessert in india pakistan and iran clove Cloves are one of the highly prized spices. They are medicinal and culinary quality. Thus, thus these spices buds are actually the flower bud from an evergreen in forest tree native to Indonesia, Spice Island. Medicinal use of clove are the essential oil. Angolian in the spice has been therapeutic. Uses in dentistry as a local anesthetic and antiseptic for teeth and gum. It is also has been found in reduced blood sugar levels in diabetes. But 
Further detailed studies required for establish its benefit. Culinary uses of cloves are these popular spices has been used in preparation of many regular dishes. In Asia and Chinese cuisine since ancient times, some of Indian vegetarian chicken and rice dishes contain cloves. And the Middle East, it is used in meat and rice dishes. Ajwain Nutrition Facts Flavorful ajwain seeds are one of the traditional spices commonly featuring in India and Middle Eastern cuisine. Some of the common names for ajwain seeds are ajwain seeds, <coughs> carom seeds, etc. Medicinal uses of ajwain are ajwain seeds have long been found using traditional Ayurvedic and a meal medicines as a cure of for varieties elements extraction obtained from this spice is sometimes found using carimentative in treating pollutants and indigestions simple germicide and antiseptic properties can be employed in the preparation of cold and cough remedies in India, advanced seeds recordation often used in Asia asthma. Culinary uses of Ajwan are in Punjab, Murvins of India and Pakistan. The spices seeds notably added to make bread Ajwan paratha. Here we have more, more many spices which keep us healthy, such as methi, kalagana, etc.